I've played a lot of Sea of Thieves with a lot of people. It's always interesting seeing their different approaches to the wide array of gameplay options that the seas present. For example, cowards who play reapers but avoid fights at all costs. Cowards who love doing merchant runs and avoid fights at all costs. Coward who hate doing merchant runs and avoid fights and merchants at all costs. But I very rarely, if ever, met anyone who loves fishing. It's just one of those things that feels like it's in the game as a bit extra tacked on, like an entire trading company centered around a fishing minigame. I'm talking, of course, about the Hunter's Call. In every other trading company in Sea of Thieves, you sell items of extraordinary value. Golden skulls, exotic spices, enchanted chests with varying magical effects, whatever the fuck this is. And in the Hunter's Call, you sell fish. Also meat from the mighty megalodons, enormous sharks the size of a sloop, and the legendary kraken, scourge of the seas. Which is worth less than just selling fish. But in a game where you have to routinely conduct huge, multi-stage expeditions to retrieve the missing cargo of ships that were lost at sea, go diving to the bottom of the ocean, siren infested waters and battle reanimated skeleton crews intent on blasting you and your ship to pieces, at least the fishing minigame has to be pretty epic. Right? I mean, Stardew Valley's minigame is a high focus challenge of timing and skill. In Terraria, you can summon one of the game's ferocious bosses. In Animal Crossing, you have to, um, press a button. So surely, Sea of Thieves must be amazing. It's boring as fuck. You basically cannot lose a fish in Sea of Thieves, unless you do this. You just make sure your rod is angled in the opposite direction to where the fish is swimming, reel it in when it gets tired, and then in terms of the actual fishing part, that's it. Although I don't understand how fish can swim at the speed of a ship sailing fully into the wind. Just as a reminder, at this point you could be doing, you know, any of this stuff. See you later. Dude, 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 I said wait. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Okay, okay, so why, why do we bother? Where is the reason to play here? What I am about to show you will break your fragile, tiny mind as it did mine. This is the fishing chart that I use, and as you can see, there is some depth here. There are three different baits to use, all corresponding to different areas of the map and various situations. For example, with leeches, you can catch ancient scales found in the ancient isles, or stormfish, which you find during storms, as opposed to grubs, which let you catch devilfish, or battle gills, which you literally have to catch while in a sea battle or in an active fort. To go even deeper, there are also different fish variants worth varying amounts, including a rare type of each fish that brings in the big bucks, and a trophy fish of each variant. Big fish. Children, let me tell you a story. It was a crispy spring evening, and I sat at my laptop with a cup of coffee, fishing rod in hand. I was playing the game in Japanese for study immersion, and was trying my best to memorize all of the different fish names. In particular, I was looking for a trophy bone ancient scale, a fish worth 11,250 gold pieces by standard trade. And then it happened. A trophy sunny splash tail, or so I thought, and so I sheathed my rod to skip the fish, but alas, it was at this moment that I realized I had misread the name and skipped the very fish I had been seeking, a trophy bone ancient scale, and in but a few seconds I had squandered all hopes of obtaining it. My wails of anguish pierced the night sky. Anyway, in short. Why, rare? Like, why does your fishing mechanic have greater depth than almost anything else in the game? Truth is, from very early on I've been obsessed with the hunters, and I'm always that one guy on the ship that loses us a fight because I'm too busy fishing. There's just something so peaceful about knowing that you could have all hell being raised around you, and instead you're enjoying a nice, deep tankard of grog with a box of bait and time to kill. However, this company is treated like shit. All the other companies have emissaries, which essentially have the capacity to add a further 1.5 times bonus to every item that you sell, 
and are full of lucrative, expensive items that are actually worth your time. But the Hunter's Call has no emissary and fishing is the only way to make money. Trust me, I've tried beach combing to find gems and only gems. I've tried filling a storage crate with the meat of every animal that I have seen over a three hour period and somehow the most effective way to earn money is still just fishing, which gives you fuck all. Not to mention, for a profitable fishing session you need to get at least 50 bait, which takes ages of digging endless holes and even longer for earthworms. Fuck you earthworms. So please devs, show the hunters some love. You've been involving Merrick a lot in the recent quests. You've left someone absent from the Stephen Spoil sea post making me travel five nautical miles to go sell my bloody ancient scales. Season 8. Now is the time to give us an emissary. Better fish prices, bait boxes available to purchase at sea posts. Anything, just throw us a bone. Do you love fishing and want a fishing buddy? Or do you just think it's stupid and want to make fun of some idiot for trying? Well, I'm live pretty much every day on Twitch, so now you can. Ooh.